Hey guys, this is Lucas, and today I have a little quick tip for you if you are an Xcode user or developer. So you may notice moment when you write your code and sometime later your eyes start to hurt because Xcode's default theme, that's what we call it now, a theme, is bright. It has a white plain background and also a pretty dark text, so it's there's a lot of contrast going on which is typical for Apple's design style. So the questions are, number one, can we change it? And number two, can we actually create our own ones or can we use some that other people created? Well, you may know the answer now since I asked this. So yeah, for both, you can change them and you can make your own ones or do download other ones. So today we wanna just download some, but we also wanna learn how to actually change them, which is actually pretty obvious but some people never come up with the idea, so that's why I'm gonna show this off today. So let's start Xcode and create a project or playground. So I just created a playground because that's of course much faster and it's not too much of uh, files going on here now. So go to the menu bar and select Xcode and hit preferences. And in here you will find fonts and colors and choose well one that you like. You'll probably have a lot more to choose from, which are all of these but I deleted, uh, deleted a lot of them. And these are two that I installed that I think are really cool, silver and space gray. Well, these are inspired by Apple's typical design style for their products, so product design. And those are two that I like from Apple's standard package, default and desk, but they have a lot of contrast going on. These colors are kind of annoying. And you may get why I like space gray. It's just nicer looking in general. This black screen is much nicer to look at. There is contrast going on, but it's not too much. And also the colors are pretty pleasant to look at. So how can we actually install or download other ones? So we have to go to the internet, just open your browser, look on Google or whatever you use for your search engine, and let's go for Xcode themes. And in here, or on here, we will probably find a lot of things we can go for. Let's choose this one, Hdoria Xcode Themes, which I just looked at before as you were able to see. And here you see a lot of previews going on so you don't have to actually go through all of these. So here you see mine. And now let's just go here and download the zip. And that's pretty fast. It's of course just text files. And this will get updated all of the time. So Xcode theme master. You can actually clone this repository if you want to. You have it. You know how to do that from my last video or second last video. Here you see 62 commits. So you have some files in here now. So how can we use them? Well, you need to create a new folder. Uh, well, you probably have to create a new folder inside of special folder that you can find by going to go and then home or just shift command and G and typing in this. So let's click go. And in here, you have to go to developer, then Xcode, and in here to user data. So now you need to create this folder if you don't have it, font and color themes. So then if you have that, you will probably understand how this works. You just have to drop and uh, to drag and drop your selected or your favorite theme in here. Let's clean this to make it a look, uh, look a bit nicer now. And let's see if it actually loads right away. I can't remember, does it? No, it doesn't. So we have to restart Xcode, which we can do, of course. I have no problem doing that. And here, you see we have our new theme. And this is pretty cool now. We can actually just use our current favorite theme and change it step by step if we want to actually use another one. Or we can create our own one. You will probably understand how that works, but I don't want to do that. I'm obviously not such a guy who likes to do that, <laughs> at least not for now. And that's been actually it. And if you have any wishes, you can leave them in the comments below. I don't actually know if this is something that people are interested in, but I was pretty surprised that this is actually possible because Apple is not really interested in 
um, getting their work changed. That's not one of their philosophies. But anyway, so we're gonna see it. Uh, sorry, <laughs> we're gonna see each other in the next video. So, bye.